What's up, YouTube? So we are going to play with the field piece MR45, or affectionately known as the Mr. 45, today. Um, I've got an empty drug of an uh, empty recovery jug here. I've got about 20 pounds, six ounces or so of refrigerant in here. I'm going to transfer from this drum through the machine into this drum. We'll weigh it so we can see. I want to see how long it takes to do it the standard upright and then to simply invert the recovery tank. So we'll then take what's going to be in there and we'll flip flop the hoses and we'll pump it back into this drum and see how it goes. Um, I know there's a lot of people that say that the, you know, inverting the tank, they don't see how that that's, you know, gonna save any time. Um, but there are manufacturers out there that do recommend doing it. So let's put it to the test. I mean, we've got pretty stable atmosphere in here in the shop i mean it's 65 degrees that's what the thermostat set for and it was satisfied a little while ago so you know cooler it's not going to be 100 degree roof and you know time that way but at least we'll have a pretty good idea of whether or not it's even worth doing now none of my hoses have core depressors in them they are full open hoses but they are standard hoses um so we can take it from there. Obviously, bigger hoses, faster recovery. Um, less restrictions, faster recovery. Let's see what the invert in the tank has, you know, has to do with that. So let's get started. All right, so I've bled basically everything, all the air out um, of everything and ready to go. So that being open, that being open, um, I do want to start a timer. So let's start that real quick. And we'll start a stopwatch here. And we can open this up. Now granted, this, this is an empty tank. This is full of refrigerant, so we will blast through as much um, refrigerant as we can when it all settles out I'll start the machine and then we'll see what we're dealing with as far as time so let's get started So right now we're just blasting through the, the machine going from one drum to the other. It is going fairly fast. I mean, 18 seconds in, we're just about I mean, 20 seconds in, we're, we're at two pounds. Um, you can see everything kind of vibrating like crazy because it's just free flowing through. Um, What I can do is kind of throttle this back just a little bit and start the machine. Good to go. We had about 20 pounds of refrigerant in there, just over. About a minute, 23 seconds in, I got eight pounds of refrigerant from there to there. I'll check back with you guys in a minute. The nice thing about this Mr. 45 is the fact that it does shut itself off automatically. Um, so we will let it run as soon as it beeps. I will stop the timer, we'll note the time, and then we'll run it back the other way. All right, well, we'll give it some time to 
come back to ambient and equal out and then we'll run it back the other way all right guys I will catch you guys in a minute all right so it's complete I've got six minutes 38 seconds almost 40 seconds for a 20 point or 20 pounds three ounces so let's see what happens when we uh, flip-flop them all right, so the one thing I did not do would be to purge the machine. So I already hit the reset, so we'll quick start that, and then we'll just add that on to the other time. This too will stop automatically once it pulls itself into a negative. Establishes what it deems necessary as far as a 29 inch vacuum. shut off and beep accordingly. That's the nice thing about the Mr. 45. You don't have to worry about it. Just set it and forget it, as Mr. Ron Popeil would say. And we're done. So we'll cancel that alarm. We'll close this up. I will catch you guys in a second. I'll flip-flop everything, let it sit for a little while, at least so this way it becomes, uh, the tanks become equal as far as temperature. So we have an idea of level playing field here. And um, we'll run this through again with the inverted tank. All right, guys, so we've waited, I guess it's been about an hour and a half or so, and everything's pretty much become stable. Uh, and equal so right now we are back to the mr. 45 we've got our jug that has a refrigerant in it that was over here we flip flopped the two um, and now we're gonna try this with the inverted on the vapor side um, so let's see how it runs like I said right right now I got everything Ready to go, we will open this up. Kind of follow it down a little bit. And again. Let's start that. Not that a couple seconds is gonna do much, but you know, we've got about half a pound of refrigerant in there now. three ounces 20 pounds four ounces of refrigerants we go from one to the other and we'll check back in the time all right see you guys in the right <clears throat> so right now we've completed our purge process we've recovered everything completed our purge process we'll cancel and mute that alarm so right now we've got this one sucked into a 29 inch vacuum this one is sitting with the 20 pounds and whatever ounces, um, one and a half, two ounces, it keeps bouncing back and forth. I can't stop touching it. Um, we are dealing with seven minutes, 38 seconds, seven minutes, 39 seconds. Um, I did add on the other time for the purge in here, and I'm dealing with 718. So I'm dealing with basically the same same amount of recovery time. Um, now granted that is 65 degrees here in the shop. Um, it is going right from one bottle to another. Um, no real restrictions whatsoever. Um, so can I say it's going to save you time? No. Can I say it hurts anything? No. Can I say that it benefits anything? Nope. So, I was kind of a 
a pro, hey, flip it upside down and, and get it to work because it seemed to make sense to me. But I see here, it saves nothing. Well, in these circumstances anyway. I'd like to try it out in the field uh, on a bigger rooftop unit um, and see how that goes. But as far as I'm concerned, upright, inverted, recovery tanks, doesn't really matter. All right, guys, I hope this helps you, and I will catch you guys on the next one.